Many years ago, I bought a turntable with the intention of... Needless to say, that did not quite become a reality. It's actually way harder than it looks. Would the dream of becoming a Scribble Jam DJ battle winner smash to pieces? I simply used this to, well, play, play records. Then many years passed, I mean, music streaming became a thing, hardware were thrown out to make room for new hardware, and I found myself with a turntable I couldn't use because I didn't have an app. Meanwhile, I really came to like the convenience of having a Sonos setup in the apartment. Being able to control uh, music in several rooms is great, but unfortunately, that left my um, turntable just collecting dust. I figured there must be a way for me to integrate it with the Sonos setup, and there's a way, or actually three ways, according to Sonos themselves. Neither of the options seemed very attractive to me with the Play 5, Connect, and the amp all going for several hundred dollars. I just want to be able to play vinyl records every once in a while. I surfed around for a more affordable solution to my problem, and I found exactly what I was looking for. A tutorial on Instructables on how you add auxiliary to your Sonos setup using Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and bring the sweet sound of dust on a, a vinyl record into every room without having to sell a kidney. You will of course find the link to the Instructables tutorial down in the description. Alright, first things first, we need a way to connect the turntable to the Raspberry Pi. For this we'll be using this 20 bucks USB audio interface from Behringer that comes with an integrated phono preamp. Wiring is what you'd expect. The white cable from the turntable goes into the white input and red to red on the audio interface. The third wire I connect is the ground. Then I plug the USB into the Raspberry Pi. Then it's time to prepare the SD card we'll be putting into the Raspberry Pi. I downloaded the operating system installer Noobs, formatted the SD card and then put all the files for Noobs on there. I installed Raspbian using Noobs and the first thing I did after some initial setup was to enable VNC. This allows you to connect and control the Pi from another computer instead of having a monitor and keyboard hooked up to the Pi. With the USB audio interface connected to the Pi, we want to check to see that we can actually record using this interface. So I plugged in the turntable and indeed everything worked. Now it's time to install some software. Dark Eyes is a live audio streamer. It will record the audio coming off from the USB interface, encode it to MP3 and then send it off to a streaming server. The streaming server will also be running on the Raspberry Pi and it's called Icecast 2. After we're done configuring Dark Eyes, we'll create a script that will run whenever the Pi has been restarted, and this is to make sure that we automatically start all the services again. When the Pi has booted, we can browse to its IP and the configured port for the Icecast 2 server. And by appending the MP3 stream file name to the URL, we can see that the stream is working just fine. In the Sonos desktop app, we'll add a stream as a radio station. And that's it. We can now play the stream and go put on a record. 